believed, but he needed some guidance. And the Lord had compassion on this man. The Lord didn't have compassion on everybody. Because when you read um, where uh, John the Baptist was baptizing people, he told some of the scribes and Pharisees, you know, that it wasn't for them. He told them, he said, uh, uh, he said, oh, generation of vipers, who had warned me to flee from the wrath to come, which is going into the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is a, a day of vengeance. It's a day of darkness and not light. Although he's going to have mercy on one third of his people. Two thirds in these other nations are going to be judged by the Lord. Okay? And with much violence. Because this place is wicked. Alright? The, the, the people that killed the Lord in, in the regener in the in the pre-generation are back here today. This is Revelation. Yeah, I mean, it's the word. Yeah. Yeah, the Philip, the, the Ethiopian unit. This is Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, behold, he cometh with clouds. Which those clouds are not talking about these fluffy things. They're talking about the chariots of Israel. Okay, which are so-called UFOs, we believe. The Native Americans, the, 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 the Negroid slaves that were brought here from Europe and West Africa, the Mayans, the Aztecs, they all seen these UFO objects. You know, they were drawn. They were drawn into them. So to speak, it says the Lord is going to return on a gigantic one. Okay, Revelation uh, uh, 19 says he's going to come on a white horse. So Revelation 71, behold, he come with the clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. So nobody on the earth is 2,000 years old. So those same people that pierced him, how are they going to see him when he returns? Because everybody is regenerating. Uh, um, there's also a second Ezra. Second Ezra's chapter, I believe, 13, says after the judgment, uh, or, or the judgment comes after we live again. So you go to the Heavenly Father when you die, he gives you a judgment, sends you back down on earth. That's why you get what they call deja vu. Because you were given your sentence to play out when you're regenerating. But this time, his son died for our sins. So we wouldn't have to suffer what the Bible calls the second death, which is nuclear fire. Also, hell. There's no such place where you burn forever. Because if it was, the Lord wouldn't be merciful. Where's the mercy in that if you burn forever? Yeah, that's the Hades. That's the, 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 uh, Latin, right? The Greek. Yeah, that's, that's that pagan shit that they put in the Bible. Yeah. Which isn't true, you know? It just means a pit, a grave, a place you, uh, you know, you're buried.
I can tell you, I can tell you, it's a little bit high This is Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Right. So it says, arise and depart. And the reason why it says that is when you go into Job 9 and 24, it tells you the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right now you have Christianity on the face of the planet where they painted white people as the image of God, right? But the image of God is actually the image of a so-called black man. Did you know that? When you go into Revelation, it describes the Lord, the world calls Jesus Christ as a black person. Solomon. Woolly hair and, and feet as if um, as fine grass that was burned in a furnace. Right? That's the image of a black person. Right? Dark so, skin. dark skin. So-called black person. Yeah, so -called black. Dark skin person, right? Much like what you would see today, somebody that rocks an afro, the Lord would have rocked an apple. Yeah. Dead serious. That's the image of the actual. God, all these guys back to the Well, it says he came in the flesh. If you deny that, yeah. that's a sin. Yeah, I know. Like, you yeah. can't deny that. Said, yeah, he no, came no, as a man. Well, that's what he looked like. Well, that was his nationality. He was an Israelite. Right? The problem is, is that the depiction of the Israelites today is a lie. All right? Everybody's been deceived. That's the problem. So if you're worshiping God and the image of a white person comes into your mind, that's a false image. Yeah. This is Revelation. I'm going to start at the top. The Revelation, and we, we, we call him by his true name, his Hebrew name. Yahweh Shai, or Mashiach, which gave unto him, which... God, or as the Native Americans used to call him, which Yahweh gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass, John the Revelator. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John. Now I'm going to jump down to how it describes the image of the Lord. And it's in the Bible. <laughs> Revelation 1 and 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and gird about the cat about the paps with a golden girdle. So it says in the midst of the seven candlesticks. Candlesticks, they burn with oil and they give light, right? Seven candlesticks represent the seven churches that were in Asia Minor. Okay, the, the ones that were giving the light, right? Because they were out there preaching about Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the light, right? So if you have the understanding of the gospel, all right, that makes you a burning lamp, a burning candlestick. Right. And it's right. Right. So. And it says he wore a garment down to the foot, representing that he was an Israelite that kept the law, because he wore a garment that had fringes like these. It's actually in the law that the chosen people, God's people, the Israelites, were to wear these. All right, that was a ordinance. So when we look on the fringes and the border blue, we remember the law. Yeah, the fringes, all these tassels, they represent the law. And there's like what, 260? Or 680 laws. Yeah, yeah. There's over 600 laws. That's what these represent. So you're supposed to look upon, you're supposed to have these and remember, oh, I'm supposed to keep the law. See what I'm saying? Go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Oh, so he had white hair. That's the texture of wool. Yeah, nafro. Yeah, condensed curly hair, right? Go ahead. What is this? No, 613. 613. 613 His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as 
as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. They said his feet as fine brass, as if it burned in a furnace. Now, if you're talking about his feet, you're looking at the color of skin. It's describing the color of his skin. So, that moon that Nebuchadnezzar hit the Babylon, Babylon, Babylonian tower, remember? They were describing the statue of um, one and one of the fathers, the fathers of the Old Testament. The world is that, the world is like that. Yeah, that was oh, you ta oh, you're talking about the, the dream that Nebuchadnezzar yeah, had. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's what it was, yeah. Yeah, that was a representation. Is this the same thing? No, no, this is different. This is describing what the Lord, okay. who, who the world calls Jesus Christ. Yeah. Everybody knows him as Jesus, right? Yeah, it's God. It's describing God. him as having feet, his skin color, as fine brass, which brass is the color of gold, right? Yeah, yeah. As if it burned in a furnace. So if you took that brass, burned it in a furnace and pulled it out, it comes out like charcoal. It comes out very dark, right? So it's telling you his skin color. And it's in there for a reason. It's described that way for a reason. And so that the majority of people, when they hear it, can deny it. But for those few that can understand it, can realize that these are the actual Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay, dark-skinned people with woolly hair. All right, that have just been colonized and have spread their seed against so many different nations you know, uh, throughout history, they were all coming looking looking like all different colors and shapes and sizes. Some of us even looking Chinese and shit, you know what I mean? We all look different. Yeah. Well, I believe that every, everybody's walk is not the same. You know that, right? We all put a faith in Jesus Christ. Christ he's our Lord God Almighty. <laughs> he is the way to God. He is the Son of God. Mine or the mine. So back to my good tune. Yeah. Yeah, good tune. That's the first thing that you have to understand is that the world that has been sold to you is a complete lie, fabrication. The image of Jesus is a lie. It's not a white person. That's a big deal. Because it said that the Lord came in the flesh. So if you worship in a white person, you're actually worshiping the devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when it says he came in the flesh, yeah, it's big guy's a big guy. Yeah, the body. It's physically sick. Physically sick. And it even goes deeper than that. Real quick. Uh, this is uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. It says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Right? That man of sin is the so-called white man that's ruling the earth today. That put his image up as the image of God. That's the son of perdition. Or what many people, like Christians, believe in an antichrist, that would basically be your ultimate antichrist. These people fell away from their heritage, right? And now they're coming back, and that man of sin is being revealed. It says, who holds it and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God basically saying that this guy was going to be an imposter in the last days that he was going to set himself up in the temple of god all right showing himself that he is the god of this world going back to job 9 and 24 which says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked all right and the history runs deep all right as the greeks they did the same thing they fought against israel and went to take you know the bible the books of the law and paint their images in tells you that in the apartment. Because they're doing Europe. We can't pray for you. We can't pray for you. We can't pray for you. We definitely can't pray for you in that name because we can call upon Yahweh Shai. You don't believe what we believe, so we can't. Because it's my Lord God Almighty, man. Yeah, that's your God. How can we pray for you? Because it's my Lord God Almighty, man. 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 Because it's my See, our people have somewhat of a zeal, but it's not according to knowledge, you know? So their zeal is, 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 is nothing. They don't have faith in what we believe, which every word of the Lord is pure, okay? It's 
heard that the Lord spoke Hebrew. That the Lord was a was a is Samakia, a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. And it mentions that the real Jews are dark skinned. It says they are black to the ground. Right. He don't believe that. He believes in Jesus. He believes in uh, Jezreel Borgia. He's going to have to know it after death by me if he doesn't repent, you know? But you can't put him in the line of the boat. No, because he's a, he's a junkie. He's a yeah. It's what you're on. not saying that, you know, the, you can't repent and be saved from that, but right. I, I don't see that guy being one of them. Yeah, all men are saved to be forgiven. To Israel. It's just you have to be granted that. You know? Let's fight for it. Hey, and see what the Lord will do with me. You know? We don't do this, we don't come out here to to uh you know damage your brother's shield, you know. We don't come out here to to have you lose faith. We come out here to give you hope. You know, but this is what it is. You know? Jesus is Lord! See? Oh, yeah. Oh. And that's probably an yeah, Amor guy. Yeah, probably. You know, they're always some scrawny, scrawny, pale ones. They have that feminine voice. Every day's a day off, like Ferris Bueller. They're riding downtown. Right. Which is the fucking hood. As if they're strolling through Beverly Hills. With a, with a man purse? Yeah. Don't say it's a satchel. It's a satchel. In Bumbalina, bro. You know, but that's 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 why we call, you know, Edom a violent homosexual. And that's why he tries to convert souls into his members. You know, the cup of his immigration is got some very good He's getting on and on and on to Get on with me. It's my party. I'm about to go. Yeah, it's his world. So celebrate with me one time. It's his world. He wants everybody to uh, uh, partake in his world. Yeah. He wants everybody listening to that shit. Yeah. He wants, he wants all you women wearing nothing, twerking, you know, uh, stepping out on your husband. Oh, having all, having all kinds of kids but no husband because he wants to be your dad. He wants to be your daddy. He wants he wants to you to be living off of his welfare. What do y'all trying to say? Y'all trying to say, look, if you were mine, if you were my chosen, you wouldn't be doing the works of your father. He said, you are of your father's devil. Yeah. He said, you're gonna do what he wants you to do. Yeah. Which Esau wants you to be a nigga like him. He is the beginning of niggadom. Okay? He, he, he started gangs and the crime. The first crime family were the Borgias. Right. You know, which moved like a mafia syndicate. They were black and higher ups to get their place. Poisoning motherfuckers, assassinating people. They were goons. That goes all the way back uh, to Cain, man. You had an old dude talking about uh, telling his wife, oh, Lebeck. That was just, he, it's just a murderous seed, bro. You're just a seed of evildoers, murderers, man. It said, it said, when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a father of lies. He said he is the beginning of lies, man. I believe a game, Koyan, means like dagger or, or, or killing instrument. And, and his son, Jubal Cain, I think means like traveling sword or something like that. Right. Because that dude, that dude, that dude was, was, was feral. That dude made a flow, not being feral. Right, right. He came through, him and 
rhyming to his women about him murdering. <laughs> about him being a murderer. You know? Just out there slaying people, man. man. That was the manslayer. Yeah. And that's his nature. That was the blessing that was given to Esau, that he should rule by the sword. That was his blessing. Wait, hey, and the, and the guardian as the serpent, it says, on thy belly shalt thou crawl all the days of thy life. You know what that means? That means his God is his belly, his own lust. It means he's basically, uh, uh, what was it, bound to his own base impulses. That's what he that's what he aims to please. He don't have a God to please. He pleases himself. That's what that meant. On thy belly shalt thou crawl, and the dust shalt thou eat confusion. Look at him now, he's confused. This place is pure confusion. Look at, you know, women just walking around. You got, you got civil war brewing up. Get the crowd boys. And this is just like one chapter, the De Detroit chapter. They're coming out saying, we know that if Trump don't win the election, it's going to be civil war. <coughs> now we know that by them saying that that's already threat in the eyes of, you know, uh, what the CIA and FBI would, would deem a threat. Oh, you're saying pretty much inside me that there's going to be a civil war. So by them allowing it to be on the mainstream shows you it's a coup, a psyop, but these things may in fact take place if Trump doesn't get, you know, in, uh, inaugurated, uh, uh, selected, you know, to be uh, the new and, and... The emperor? Yeah. <laughs> Which people would say, you know, that he was Nero. He could be Nero. Which everything is, everything like I was telling Jake, bug out, everything is reincarnated. It tells you that. Hey, because you know what could happen, man? It could be that he gets reelected and then they go to throw him out of office and then he calls it a coup and then that's what starts the civil war right there. Yeah. You know? Hey, man. But we know that these things are inevitable, man. Yeah, it's going to happen. Hey, man, that's Esau's nature is to, is to fight against himself. Yeah. It said that they would kill one another, you know? Hey, but it, uh, Micah 2 and 10, what? Rise ye and depart. The rise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. Right, and the wages of sin is death, man. And this place is polluted, man. All right? The way, the, the way, the, 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 the mentality, you know, of this place is polluted, man. You got people out here worshiping all kinds of stuff, eating whatever they want, doing whatever they want, man. Not adhering to the ways you howl by some you side, which is the only way to, to, to be delivered, man. Alright, so you gotta arise and depart of, out of this place. You gotta get out of the thinking of this world. You know, you gotta get out of that, that uh, uh, you know, that mindset that this world has put upon you, okay? To be out here uh, uh, just filling your belly, you know, doing whatever you wanna do. That's what this world teaches you with Satan is to do as thou wilt. You have to conform to the ways of the Lord. You need to keep these commandments and these laws, man. You need Seek after you how about some outside in order to live. Because without the Lord, you're gonna be turned to the you're gonna get turned into salt, man. This is first Peter chapter two, verse two. <coughs> As newborn babes desire the sincere, sincere milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. Yeah, we were just talking about the milk. We were just talking about how Esau is the devil. You know, how he changed the image of the, of the righteous people to his image, what the true image of the Lord is. These things are, this is the milk. You know, this is the understanding so that you can realize, oh man, this is the truth. All right? That's what I'm going to say. If so, 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 if so
so be. Ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. Right. So if you, you, you know, you're receiving it, you know, uh, sincerely, you're going to know that the Lord is gracious. You're going to feel the Spirit. You're going to know that He's supping with you now. You know? Because the presence of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Harakakudash, is evident. It's gracious. It's evident that it's gracious. You can feel it. Okay? There's times where you feel the Spirit and you righteously feel juggernauts. Okay? You feel unmovable. Yeah. Like, like you shouldn't fear anything. You don't need to fear anything. You know that you're on the right path, you know, which also in humility and humbleness, we, you know, we uh, don't boast in the fact that uh, it's there, but that the fact that the Lord allowed us to taste of it, you know, because it's all of the Lord. Yeah, because well, you can't boast because it comes through obedience. That's the only way that it comes. It comes through you keeping the law, man, keeping the commandments. All right, seeking after the Lord, doing, do, uh, uh, you know, being on the right path. That's the only way that it comes. The Lord don't deal with anybody that's just doing what they want to do. The Lord ain't gonna deal with some regular dude, man. You have to be seeking it. You have to be doing things according to the scriptures in order to receive that power, in order to receive that <coughs> that spirit, that understanding. To know, hey, oh shoot, this is the truth, man. You know, I felt it. Right? St. John, what time is it? Oh no. St. John, 14 and 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. Okay, so if you love the Lord, you will keep his commandments. You will, you're not going to make excuses as to why you shouldn't keep the commandments or why you don't have to keep the commandments. But there's a lot of assholes out there that actually do that. They make excuses for them to be uh, uh, disobedient, man, to be rebellious. Yeah, ju justifying, justifying hats. Justifying uh, abominable foods. Right. You know? <laughs> All kinds of crazy. They, they ain't doing this in truth and in sincerity. Because that's sincere milk. You know when you're an Israelite, well, you would say, well, what do the Israelites eat? I, I'm practicing, I'm, I'm, I'm knowing I'm an Israelite. I love the fact that I'm God's chosen. How can I serve him and please him? So then knowing that that's nasty to the Lord, why aren't they bowing down to what pleases the Lord and to, and to not accept what is disgusting to them? Right. If you're doing that, you might as well be a homosexual. Putting nasty ass foods in your mouth. You know? It says that the Lord, he's going to slay those that are eating swine's flesh and the mouse. They go into the groves and partake in, in wickedness, sacrifice children. You see what Ryan Garcia, you ever heard of the boxer? He's one of the youngest, uh, uh, they were calling the, the newest Mexican uh, uh, up and coming star of boxing. He was going up to the ultimate Judite uh, star coming up. He got scraped, it was the hardest fight. And now he's coming out talking about they took him to Bohemian Grove. Hey. And they had to, they, they forced him to watch. Ugh. Watch them molest the babies, bro. Oh, man. And he's screaming about it. He's going crazy like, I don't give a fuck. That's mind-breaking. Yeah, he was saying, he was saying, he was saying they're fucking his brain. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know? He's That's saying he don't up. give a fuck. He's saying he don't give a fuck. It, it fucked his mind off to where, you know, you can't do something, you know. But what's gonna get, what's gonna happen to him over him trying to break that? Is they're gonna come at him? And they're gonna come at him hard. 
and be like, hey, you're gonna, you're gonna shut your fucking mouth? Or we're gonna expose you on whatever they got on him? And, and just black, blacklist them. You know, if they don't work them, you know? But he's already somewhat accepted that something may happen to him. You know, but you know, there's abominable things that go on because it's devil. And these are the reasons why the earth and the inhabitants are gonna get smashed up. Now, not all the earth and everybody's gonna get destroyed. Okay, because of the elect, if we're part of that number, somebody's gotta be at that number. They're not gonna lift a finger to build the kingdom. That's gonna be these other nations. The heathen. Well, primarily Esau's punk ass. And the scripture says that they shall uh, dish out continuous employment. So the only day off is going to be the Sabbath. Jake got out. Jake got to work seven days a week. More than that. So, hey, you know, you're going to work them six days. You know, Sundays are going to be that double. But, just to back up a point that not everyone's going to be destroyed, not the whole earth is going to just get nuked to hell and never exist. It says he created it to be an heaven. Amen. Can I ask something else? This is Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh Bashimi, I was shy thy God. Which the word holy means to be separate. Special. It separates us as the laws, statutes, and commandments. You know, throughout the scriptures, it mentions how these laws were to separate us from everybody else and to show the world that we're special and that we are his, his, his people. You know, that's what we're going to utilize to govern the universe. When Yahweh Shai's kingdom is established, we are going to enforce his law. Okay? Like the Knights of the Round Table, we're going to go around in his name as our king and our king David. Okay? It says, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, thy power, had chosen me to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people. For you were the fewest of all people. And what he's saying by that is, I'm not going after one of you. It's glory. I created you to be He calls Israel so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, his fervent lover, you know, which means he loves you, which means he only desires for you to turn back and serve him. That's all he desires. Back. 
still got it together. You know, and still and, and, and still uh, being in, in power, man. Yeah. You know, never die, all that stuff, man. Still be saved, still be delivered. Yeah, perks, perks of the kingdom. Of gaining benefits if you take heed to the word. That's why you gotta take heed to this word, man. Yeah. Alright? And, and seek Yahweh by Simeon's side. Put away, put away evil and seek after righteousness. You know, clean the inside of the cup. Clean, you know, cleanse, cleanse your vessel. Alright? You do that through this word. You understand this word, man. Alright? That's the only way that you're going to receive the spirit of truth, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of wisdom, okay? The understanding of this word, all right? So, St. John 14 and 15, If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but you know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. So this, so when the Spirit hits you, you're going to know that this is the truth. You're just going to know it, bro. It says, he that hath my commandment, or it says, uh, I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me, because I live, you shall live also. At that day you shall know that I am in my Father, and he in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. And how does the Lord manifest himself to you? Alright. Through faith. Faith is a gift. You know? That, that overwhelming understanding of this is the truth, that conviction, that's what faith is, man. You knowing, oh, this is it. That's the Lord sucking with you. That's the Lord coming to you. That's faith, man. Yeah, the substitute. You know, sometimes I remember when you read, you know, <coughs> it helps you. but you don't want to read as if it's your own understanding. So you go inquire, and it was a revelation. Right. The, the Lord actually will sub with you and reveal breakdowns to you. Yes. But, oh, but we, we were taught through our elders and apostles. You know, we were given milk, those nutrients to, to grow. And then, you know, the Lord will start to look at you, you know, to prove that those men have the Spirit. Okay? That's why now we've been saying, I would dark with us. Really, the only ones have been doing it under our elders, elders and apostles. Other guys don't see that. You know, they were saying Christ, Israel united Christ. You know, God and Christ blessed. What is that? You know. Well, they'll, 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 they don't say it. Hard God, which the scriptures talk about saying. That. Like a brother said, you could be reading, you could have read something a hundred times, and then out of nowhere, you just, you get a deeper understanding of it, man. Yeah. Or you think about it differently in a way that you're like, oh, dang, man. That's the Lord something with you, opening your eyes to things, revealing things to, you know, it's to build your faith. But the Lord is only going to do that, all right, if you're sincere and you keep his commandments, all right, you do the right thing. That's the only way the Lord is going to deal with you, man. Yeah, that's why he said, uh, he said, he said, what I do is going to go. I live in you. He said, uh, I live in you. Well, that's the word. The kingdom of heaven is within you.
Okay, so with that, hopefully it's been edifying. We give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, our Kakadash. Double honor to the apostles, none of the great drill stones. It's all wrong, so hopefully, let's go.